Recently, there's been a lot of discussion about the government's proposed switch to change CPI as the default way we measure the rate of inflation. Now, a lot of folks have questions about the difference between the current method and the new one. So we're going to spend some time chatting about what those differences are. The CPI, or Consumer Price Index, is a method of measuring inflation by looking at the prices of items purchased by consumers. It also assumes that consumers buy the same items and fail to adjust to certain price changes month after month, year after year. When this happens, we end up overestimating the true level of inflation. The CPI has been around since World War I. And while it's been tweaked and improved over the years, it still ignores a lot of real world variables. On the other hand, the chain CPI, the measure the government's considering the switch to, measures changes in inflation by looking at the changing relationship between prices of consumer items. Get it? What? Uh, huh? Okay, let's try it this way. Let's say you go to the store every day and buy an apple for one dollar. They also sell oranges for a dollar, but hey, you prefer apples. One day you walk in and find out that apples are now five bucks a piece. Apples are good, but they're not that good. So you start buying oranges instead. That's the way people behave in the real world, and Chain CPI reflects that. Now some say that because benefits are pegged to inflation, switching to the Chain CPI would reduce benefits for seniors and others living on fixed income. But benefits won't be reduced. They'll continue to grow over time, and they'll do so more accurately. Furthermore, what the critics aren't seeing is that the current system pays everyone more than it intends to. So instead of overpaying everyone, perhaps it makes more sense to focus on the people that need additional help. And that's just one of the benefits of Chain CPI. It also helps us reduce our mounting debt. It does this by making Social Security's finances stronger, by slowing the growth of other government spending, me. and by bringing in new government revenue. <laughs> After all, many tax provisions are directly linked to our measure of inflation, including many that benefit the well-off. Oh, I, I like money. So as you can see, the current CPI and the chain CPI really are apples and oranges. Really? Come on, no oranges? We, we didn't have any oranges.